Good morning, and I am calling this. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning, Anaheim colonists. Today is Tuesday, February 20th, 2018. You're live with Carol and Brianda. Now on to your next guest. Hi, my name's Armando. And my name's Alejandra. Um, I have a friendly reminder that today there's going to be a meet, uh, um, uh, Gear Up Ambassadors meeting after school in room eight. We will be discussing our next social event and we will be doing a team building activity. I hope to see you all there. Uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to girls basketball for that win. <laughs> it was like really exciting. If you guys missed it, you know, you guys should come uh, tomorrow. It's, uh, they're going to be playing uh, home at 7. You guys should go. Now on to your next guest. So good morning. This is Ms. Barrios Gracian, and I'm here to answer a few questions about the journalism class for next year. Uh, the number one question is, what requirement does it meet? And it's not going to count as an English class or a Spanish class. It's going to be a career ed. So it will fulfill that requirement for, uh, from your A through G. Another uh, question was, Ms. G, why do we have to be able to write in Spanish? Well, it is going to be a bilingual newspaper, so I need you to be a strong writer in both languages. So that will be a requirement. You have to be at least in Spanish for Spanish Speakers 3 in order to be allowed into the class. And lastly, um, what kind of things will we cover? Well, we're going to focus a lot on our community. We're going to focus a lot on our school and in our city. And um, of course, that includes sports, music, et cetera. So again, I'm um, going to go ahead and invite you guys, por favor, a que ser parte de la nueva clase de periodismo, especialmente si tu español es muy bueno, quiero que ser, seas parte de mi equipo. OK, gracias. Colonists, tomorrow during both lunches, there will be a career fair available. There will be more than 25 employers and educational opportunities to learn about, so be sure to stop by. Now to your next guest. Good morning, and I'm Colonist Neves Granados. I'm, I'm Ashley Rodell. And we are, be, we are here on behalf of Model United Nations. Model United Nations is a program that um, mocks or copies the proceedings of the United Nations. It is a great, great way to improve your debate skills, your public speaking skills, and critical thinking. Um, oh, we will be having a brief meeting today in Ms. Majewski's room, room 119. It's going to be very brief, so hope to see all members there. Thank you. Sadie Hawkins Dance will only be on sale until this Thursday. Bring your ID card, clearance ticket, and $10 if you have ASB. Tickets are 15 without ASB and 20 for an outside guest. The dance will be February 23rd in the AHS gym. Now on to your next guest. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We're here on behalf of the Pennies for Patients. Now, remember, uh, today's the first day we're going to be collecting money uh, all the way until March 5th. So, you got any change left? You didn't spend money on Starbucks? Spend it on this. Come on, guys. Come on. Put your money in. Put your money in the box. Remember that our goal is $12,000 and that every penny counts. And as Mr. Galvin Bird once said, helping others without expecting anything in return, in return is what true self-worth is all about. First place winner will get the pasta party, and the second place winner will be getting the pizza party. True that. All right, so every uh, fourth period, every day, ASB is going to come into your room, uh, teachers with their boxes, they're going to come, they're going to collect it, they're going to count the money, and they're going to announce, I be, believe, at the end of every week, we're going to announce who's uh, in the top three or top ten. So put your money in, teachers, encourage your students, every period, let's go! <laughs> and now there's a video coming right after this. The only sign that we had was he got a bump. One day I was sitting on the couch and he he came over and he was in front of me and I looked down and I, I saw it. We thought it was a cyst, so then we... We took him to the pediatrician. Took him to the pediatrician and he looked at it. His exact words. Don't worry, it is not cancer. So we um, put My little the back. I had to run it back. It yeah. I had to leave so I could bring it back. Look, yeah. the real is back, how real is that? Um, I pull up for something, I buy like it's nothing. 
We went in Dr. Lazarus' office and like I said, they were waiting for us with open arms. They were just, they were so awesome. And he said, um, the type of cancer he has, there's only probably 42 other kids in the country right now with that type of cancer. <laughs> he went through chemo, I think it was about six weeks that he went through chemo twice a week. They would have all kinds of fun stuff from the zoo. They made cupcakes, they watched movies, they had karaoke, the doctors would karaoke with them. When you go in, they're like, bring your lunch, don't bring your lunch, take your shoes off, leave them on, do whatever you want, and you know, if, mom, if you need a break, go downstairs, leave Eli up here. Dr. Lazarus walked in and he, um, he said, hi Eli, how are you? And Eli said, fine. He said, it's all gone. We really feel blessed because Eli has never slowed down. He's totally back to normal. He's never stopped. I mean, he just, he bounced right back with, without a problem at all. I'm Eli and I kicked Kendra in the butt. Without these experiences, I would not have had all these people in my life. And I mean, I just like, I'm so fortunate because I, I had Dr. Lazarus. I would put him on a mountaintop for the whole world to see if I could, because that's where they belong. Good morning, staff and students, and happy Tuesday. A couple of announcements. We have some updates for our wrestlers, soccer team, and girls basketball. So for wrestling, we had um, six, two, four, six, seven guys qualify for CIF. Fernando Gomez, uh, Lenin Venegas, Andrew Pineda, Daniel Sands, Israel Leon, Jesse Santiago, and Jonathan Quintanar, who all went to CIF this past weekend. We had, all did a great job. Andrew Pineda ended up pinning the number, number one ranked wrestler in his weight class and ended up finishing eighth in, um, in CIF. So congratulations to all of them and especially to Andrew Pineda for a job well done. We also had our boys soccer who won last Wednesday, as you know. I'm sorry, last uh, Friday, and we'll now be playing this Wednesday against Norte Vista High School in Riverside, over in Riverside on Wednesday at 3. Hopefully some of you can come out and make it and support. Good luck to uh, Coach Urado and the boys uh, varsity program. And then girls basketball had an amazing game last night, uh, won 67-52, to and now play here at home on Wednesday against Fillmore. So come out and support. Good luck to Coach Gomez, his staff, and the girls' varsity program. Great job. We're super proud of you, every one of you. Um, theater had an amazing show this past Friday and Saturday. Good job to Miss King and all of those who were a part of Urinetown. It was a, an amazing performance. A lot of work went into that. Great set on stage. So congratulations to everyone involved. And we have band and choir who are entering concert season. So good luck to you all um, as we prepare to move forward into the fourth quarter with two weeks left. Teachers, um, we also sent out an email this past week um, on just the importance of school safety um, and making sure that our students all understand that that you know obviously it's number one on our priority list we are here to support all of our students uh, students if you see something say something you hear something say something we have a lot of resources here on campus to help all of our students out um, again just not only with school safety but with anyone who's dealing with adversities um, we are here to help um, teachers, thank you for taking the time to, to take that email and, and read it to our, our fifth period class last week. If you didn't have a chance, please do so today. With that said, guys, have a great Tuesday, two weeks away from the end of the third quarter and moving on to the last lap of the year, fourth quarter. So keep working hard, students. Thank you. So once we finish signing off, there will be a video playing about the Sadie dance. <laughs> so signing off with... Carol and Brianda. Those are your announcements for today. We'll catch you later for more to come your way. Thanks. Hey.
Look, the real is back, how real is that? Uh, I pull up for something, I buy like it's nothing.